All right, I'm here on another beautiful Florida day with the Mobility Carrier. It's an aluminum mobility wheelchair and scooter carrier from Harbor Freight. Uh, the brand is Hallmaster. It says right here, the heavy duty support beams won't bend or flex, extremely lightweight aluminum construction, extra wide, 27 inch by 47 inch, detachable fold up ramp has a gradual slope for easy loading four town down anchor points class two uh receiver aluminum construction harbor freight here's the item number if you need the item number six seven five nine nine and this is the ramp so let's put this together and see what it takes and we'll see how it works out today I have to pick up a mobility so scooter. here's everything inside the box nice aluminum pieces everything's all strapped together so you need a cutter to strap oh wait i guess it's not strapped together <laughs> yeah some of them are still strapped together you got all your hardware and i'll start cutting off all these straps and putting this together and let's okay, see so i separated all the pieces so i have all the screws i have all the nuts and i have all the remaining pieces that are left and here's how you're going to set this thing up it comes with two reflectors so you want both reflectors on one side so you're going to put one reflector here you're going to put this little carrier thing here which is a plate a small one here also a small one here see how there's one one screw hole and another reflector here big piece here small piece big piece small piece big piece really big piece small piece big piece i'm gonna put it together and let's right, see what so happens. basically here's what it looks like half assembled you got all the pieces together here and now the reflector's got to be on one side just so you know that you have all your screws and all your nuts so what you're going to do is just going to get your pieces just like that and i have a wrench and a drill and you're going to tighten them all up and you're going to do that for every one one two all around so little by little, I'm getting Take this thing piece. All right, and you're gonna put it on top and you're gonna match up all the holes. Make sure all the holes are matched up. And then you're gonna do it again. Grab these nuts and bolts and just start putting them all around. Then we'll, after that, we'll install the gate and um, the bottom plate, which is over here. Heavy duty bottom plate. And this is what's gonna attach to the Hitch right there. All right, so I'm gonna get two hands. You're gonna want to use one of these. All right, I have a whole set here. But what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to use these quarter drives because this right here, let me see what size it is. There it goes 5 sixteenths. I don't know why it's not zooming in there. 5 sixteenths. There you go. You're gonna want to use that. To, it's going to make it a lot easier to hook these up these nuts and bolts all right? and i'll show you all right so when you're going to do the top part it's really hard so you can just go ahead and get this on the back with the screwdriver and then it's just easier to just do it to deal with that other wrench all right? just a little quick. all right so once you're done installing all the nuts and bolts for the top part of the carriage you're gonna go ahead and flip it over and, and line up all these holes for the main support. But make sure that this end piece is matching up with all this reflectors, the sticker and everything. All right, so here's where the instructions get a little bit funky. So I'm thinking that this is the configuration with these like this. So this is gonna go inside and then these are gonna stay on the outside. So six of these go in the middle with the big washer on the inside of the unit and then these four on the outside so let's see what happens and then also these anchor points just go here so yeah, that's how you're going to set them up and there's one for every corner and that's it all right so here's what it looks like now got it hooked up to a ram 1500 and um it's all put together it took me a little bit maybe under an hour to install everything together taking my time 
and the reflectors are on the back. Here's a ramp. And you gotta be careful, don't lose these is to hold the ramp in place. That's pretty much it. So that's what it looks like. And I hope it works. It just seems like it's gonna, when it's on the back, it may just rattle. I don't really like that, but it's really not much you can do, I guess. I guess you can use some straps and tie it to your tie points there. Maybe so it doesn't rattle as much, but that's what it looks like. There you go. Alright, attempt number one to try to get this on the ramp. Attempt number one better be right. Push this down, down. Uh, he ain't gonna be able to do this by himself. Alright. I thought that ramp There's no was... neutral button on this thing? No. I thought that thing was lowered to the ground. Nah, it's high. You're gonna need two guys to put that on there. Uh, keep recording. Uh, this is <laughs> DJ no, this is a real life thing, bro. If you buy this and you think you're gonna be able to put this scooter on, you got something else coming. Don't scratch. Watch the sides that you don't scratch it. Where, where, where? On the sides with the there's, metal. There's no way you can scratch it. Just cocky duty down the show. <laughs> All right, let's put on low. Man, that's how you do it, my friends. There goes. Oh, but he ain't gonna be able to do that shit by himself. No, it's only he's gonna have to do it only when I'm around. That's it. Well, anyways, that's how you put it on. That's what it looks like. You want to buy this make sure you have somebody to help you and it looks like it's